Sascha von netbooknews.com over here in. Oh. Hi guys, it's Sascha from netbooknews.com and today we're taking a look uh, at another 11.6 inch tablet. You can already see some of them, or at least two of them. That's the ExoPC, that's the Vimodo, and uh, many of you guys know the WeTab from the German company 42. Um, there was a huge media buzz around the WeTab uh, back in April last year. And uh, we know about the very first reviews. Uh, a lot of people were complaining about the software, um, that it all kind of looked like it was still under construction. So what we got is just a revision 2. That means it's WeTab OS 2.0. And the 42 guys told us, you know, we've been really working hard. We've been listening to the community. And we definitely... Um, tweaked our, our software heavily. So um, let's take a quick look at it. Well, first of all, let's do an unboxing, which is pretty easy in these tablet days because there's not much in these boxes. Uh, we have our PSU over here. There's this little towel to clean your screen. That's the Wii tab. Here's a quick, uh, my finger got stuck in here. Uh, a quick manual tells you a little bit about uh, how to set up your Wi-Fi. There's a WeTap sticker, and that's about it. Uh, the WeTap is on sale right now in Germany. I think it's starting at 469 euros. It's a little cheaper than the iPad. That's the Wi-Fi only version um, for 569, I think, or 599. Uh, you are gonna get the 3G version of it. What about specifications? Intel Atom N for 51 GB of RAM, 16 or 32 GB SSD, and that's 11.6 inch as I said, uh, 1366 by 768 is the resolution. So it's actually using the same screen as the ExoPC. The Bimodo is using a different one, but we're going to take a look at the differences in another video. So let's start with the WeTab. Quick overview of the IOs here. We have our PSU connector, HDMI out, two USB 2.0, um, a jack for the headset, 4 in 1 card reader, and over here you can get your 3G SIM card in there. That, that's a connector for the docking station. So actually, I'm pretty sure we could even mm -hmm. use the one from the Vimodo. And that's about it a 1.3 megapixel camera on the front. Yeah, and that's it. 980 grams, so just below under one kilogram. And um, let's switch it on. So we can also see now how long it takes to boot up. Well, there is one thing in terms of exclusivity. Um, let's start. Let's start in English. Okay, we have to create a new account. Okay, it wants to get. Uh, mm -hmm. Is this the one? Yeah. Here we go. Okay, let's connect to. Oh my god, now everyone knows your password for your Wi-Fi. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh my oh, look god. at it. <laughs> if you can come and hang out around my house in Taipei, you can use my internet. <laughs> More than welcome. <laughs> okay, so we are now connected. I, let me tell you one thing. In terms of exclusivity, it is an, ex it is an exclusive device because this is the only Mego mm -hmm. device out there yeah. in the world. Yeah. I hope it's not staying the only Migo yeah. device out there. Uh, we're going to see that uh, during a Mobile World Congress in Barcelona, which is going to start on Sunday or Monday. Yeah, Sunday right. gets kicked off, yeah. Okay. Let's, let's read the end user license agreement. Start to yes. Okay, so we finished the registration and now it's uh, downloading and installing the latest software version. That was quick. And uh, while it's installing it, uh, it's just giving you 
a little overview of the I.O. ports and how you can use the VTAP. So finally, we did all the updates. We have the latest version of the VTAP uh, OS uh, downloaded and installed. And here we go. That's the VTAP. Completely different approach in terms of GUI and front end. Again, this is based on Migo. So it's kind of optimized for the Intel Atom platform. Let me just walk you through. What you see over here on the right side is your main navigation bar. You can just, with your thumb, you can just scroll up and down your desktop over here. And you can see a, a mini version of your desktop over here, this uh, sidebar. Uh, we can configure the whole widget thing here. If, you, if you're just pressing it down, you can just move the widgets on the desktop and you can also delete them I think when you... oh sorry you can't delete those but you can of course delete this little weather widget or over here for German news or for Wikipedia so let's go back info just tells you about the date and that the power adapter is connected and you can do the volume control brightness and what about internet connection? Oh, sorry, and all these things. Here we go. Internet, of course, should open a browser. Basically, what I have to say right now is uh, that the first impression is it feels pretty zippy. Let's go to netbooknews.com and see how quickly it's going to render our website. Here we go. Let's wait until it's finished. So that's uh, that's okay. But you know what? You can see on the left side we also have another navigation bar. As soon as you're opening uh, a browser, you can also navigate through the whole side with your left thumb. I really like this idea. It's really taking advantage of this uh, additional screen real estate of an 11.6 inch uh, system. Let's take a quick look at the accelerometer because I never checked this out. What's going to happen if I'm turning this? It's going into full screen of the browser. That's pretty neat, huh? So let's go back. I think the the performance and how quickly it changes um, is 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 okay. It's not our uh, it's not super fast, but it's definitely okay. And it's definitely not bad at all. Um, how about pinch to zoom? Great. That's actually way better than all the Windows tablets uh, we've seen based on an Intel Atom N450 means the Bimodo and the ExoPC. In terms of performance, it seems uh, that the Geysers 42, which is the company that is behind the WeTap, definitely did a good job. And it shows you a little bit uh, about the performance advantage of Migo when you're using an Intel Atom platform. So what else do we have over here? We can go back to the last window. We can open Windows. See that? So if we would just have another a website open, we could just flip through the different windows. We have a little help button over here that shows you how to use the Wii tab. And of course, we have the keyboard. That all looks pretty decent. What else do we have? Uh, when I open the browser, I can also, for example, send the page over email, right? So they're using the clause email client for this. Uh, I can search the page. I have a browsing history that would show up. Unfortunately, there's nothing in there right now because, I mean, we just booted it up for the very first time. And, oh, let's go back to the browser. As you can see, right, um, the performance by switching in between the application is definitely very good. I really have to point that out because uh, I've been playing around with this Windows tablet before. Even, even though they have also their advantages, 
I think um, that's that's very cool here. Okay, let's take a quick look at the different widgets that we have over here. Um, we have a weather a widget. Um, Tagesschau is our that's that's a main German news channel on TV. So at eight o'clock in the evening in Germany, I remember when I was a kid, you know, my grandparents always switched on the Tagesschau to watch the latest news. There was no chance that you can watch anything else. Okay, so uh, how about volume? Okay. That works. Of course, that's, that's real multitasking again. Right. There's still this playback going on. What else do we have? Uh, over here we have a couple of uh, applications from 42. So let's check out the calendar. Which is just asking me to set up an account with Claw email again. <laughs> um, how about the music player? I'm sure that I don't have to register for Claw's email. That takes a while to show up. Not sure if this is a matter of the first. Mm, that 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 looks a little bit familiar. I know that this is a Linux player. Therefore, it is actually meant to be more like a like a desktop player that you need a mouse. And uh, I think it is not optimized for really for a touchscreen tablet. And that's where uh, the WeTab guys definitely can improve a little bit. Uh, what else? What about media gallery? So we can take a look at pictures. So it's loading some. Okay. Let's see about how multitask. Okay, pinch to zoom is no problem at all. I can swipe through the pictures. Oh my god, I remember videos uh, like some six months ago where people were playing around with the one point whatever version. And now this is just just such a huge difference. I can also use these little buttons over here on the sidebar. I can start a slideshow. That all works. Okay, let's close it. Uh, what else do we have? How about the video player? Let's check out some video playback. Hopefully they have some uh, files on here. Okay, photos and videos. Do I have to do? Do I have to say add? Okay, here's the big bu uh, bunny trailer. We can go full screen. I have to say I love the front end. Uh, actually, that that I, I pointed this out from the very first day when I saw it. I could understand the concept behind this. It is a different approach for a tablet phone, especially for a bigger tablet, which is for me more like a couch surfing tablet. So I will 720p, 1080p shouldn't be a problem at all. They're also using using the Broadcom Crystal HD card. What else do we have? Okay, here's the email client. Uh, we have widgets for Amazon. Um, there's a webcam. Let's switch it on. Okay. <laughs> Had a webcam? The screen is glossy enough. Oh, <gasps> who's that? Okay, here we go. We can take a picture of ourselves. I'm not sure if I want to do that. Cheers! Hello, Nicole. There we go. And I'm sure it's going to put it into our gallery. Okay, let's close it and let's take a look. Quick look at it some later. How about ebooks? Okay, Project Gutenberg. Can I just swipe through this? Oh, that's that's Faust from Goethe. No, I need to use these uh, back and forward buttons. Of course, it doesn't look as fancy as all this little swipe to turn the pages or flip the pages ebook readers, but basically it does the same. How about the accelerometer again? Okay.
that works. But still, I think they can work on this a little bit more. Uh, larger font, smaller font, you know, I like that. That is, that is pretty neat. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, we have some games over here, Solitaire, a quiz game. Oh, Jesus, I don't want to switch this on with Jörg Pilava, horrible. Weird German showmaster. I would, I would prefer the Hofmeister, you know, just to fulfill the stereotype in here. Because <laughs> everybody knows that uh, David Hasselhoff is just the number one star in Germany. Forever Still. and always. To this day. <laughs> a, a man under gods. <laughs> okay, here we go. Um, uh, we have a dictionary, we have a Bing search here, we have We Find which is also um, a software from, uh, from the WeTap company. Is there an app store? Uh, is there an app store? That's a rather good question. How about an app store? Let me check this. You know, well, in Intel might be announcing an Amigo app store. There you MWC. go. You know what, look, uh, over here we have a little widget or a little badge just saying, De developers, are you ready? Let's click on it and let's see what's going to happen. So it's just actually telling you about our what you can do to you. You can download the Amigo SDK, and it's giving you all the information about the Amigo APIs, and it's telling you how to develop uh, widgets for the WeTap. Okay. So I registered for the WeTap market, and now we have different categories: news, magazines, education, games, office, name them. Um, how about news and magazines? Let's see what's in there. And uh, let's do some app shopping. So, how about the New York Times? And let's install it. So, cheers to Ken Russell and the other guys who made this happen after we had some phone calls with the New York Times guys to. Uh, get the application on on this device over here <laughs> does it mean it's 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 installed i don't know maybe it is let's take a look is, here we go I would like to have a little confirmation yeah. that it's installed, because <laughs> right? otherwise we would have waited uh, for the next uh, 20 hours or so. Maybe not, but uh, okay. Is this, uh, do I have to set up an account first? Is it, is it updating the content right now? It's amazing. You, you take that hourglass with the thinking wheel and windows or right. for granted right now. Absolutely. Yeah. So we somehow we need to have a notification. Now we need to know what's going on. And uh, okay, but finally we can see the different um, tabs and windows that we have opened. You know what? Let's go back until this is. I think it's just downloading the recent content. Let's go back to the WeTap market. Um, here we go. How about uh, dup, 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 dup. what's healthcare and sports? Okay, these are all magazines again. Or oh, and Doc Morris, Internet Pharmacy. One more. How about knowledge and reference? Are they all free apps? It looks like so far. It looks like. Hmm. Oh, okay. Now there's an indication. Yes. And you can also see there's an Adobe Air Marketplace. Mm -hmm. So it's capable of running Adobe Air apps. And there are also plenty of apps on this app store. You know, I'm always forgetting this. 
Mm. I mean, it's so new. Uh, you really have to get used to it, but it just makes perfect sense. You know, it's funny because Apple Apple originally was going to support Flash, so all the guys who actually did a Flash application for Apple suddenly have somewhere to sell it. Okay. Yeah, so it's, it's actually an extremely robust store, surprisingly. Let's take another look at the New York Times app, please. Maybe I have too many windows open now. Maybe try closing it and restarting the New York Times Yeah, app. that's what we got to do. Let's close the WeTip market and let's close the Adobe Air and let's start the New York Times. Well, it says New York Times, <laughs> but actually it's not doing anything I mean, right now for no, us. No news today. No news today, that's it. <laughs> Is it a holiday in the US? It must be. <laughs> <laughs> okay, again, well, we also have this Adobe Air marketplace. Uh, we can use a Fire Browser and uh, we can also use the Stellarium thing, <laughs> which we just installed. That should work. Ooh, look at this. You know, the file browser had a cut and paste, which uh, the Bomodo and I don't think the XOPC do have either, so that's actually a real advantage right there. Okay. Yeah, I quite liked that. Okay, here is the Venus. I bet that's the sun, mm -hmm. of course. And, um, yeah, what can I do here? Ah, look at this. Let's switch off the sun. Ooh, huh? Here we go. Um, what about Open Office over here? Because this is should also show us some disadvantages, in my opinion. Because I mean, that's that's an application, a program. Um, it's meant to be, yeah, that's meant to be for desktop PC. That's first of all. Go back, here we go. So, um, well, of course you can also use a USB keyboard, a USB mouse, so that that's going to turn it somehow into a kind of uh, desktop PC. But besides that, right, I think it's a, it's a completely different approach. Um, it looks way better in terms of performance, in terms of usability than the very first versions. And uh, there's still some room for improvement. I, I like the concept. I still like the concept. I think it's very unique the way they're taking advantage of this extra real estate of a bigger tablet like this 11.6 inch one. Um, again, battery life should be around four to five hours. This is meant to be a sofa surfing, couch surfing device. Uh, it starts at 469 in Europe for the Wi-Fi only version and I think 569 or 599, I think 569 is the 3G version of the Wii Tab. Definitely some improvements, uh, huge improvements compared to the very first version. Uh, definitely also some uh, room for additional improvement to work on some applications over here to um, yeah, in, in terms of performance, I think it's fine to get some more widgets on the desktop and um, yeah, it looks promising. It definitely looks promising after a kind of rough start they had. So this is the WeTap uh, Intel Atom N450 11.6 inch tablet. The only tablet, the only device in the world that is running Mego. I'm Sasha for NetbookNews.com. Thanks for watching.